Welcome to another fun episode of Life After, a show dedicated to hearing the stories of paths students take after high school. My name is Katie Zeke, and I'm a teacher at Southeast High School. These interviews feature students from my past. Today, we are joined by Tiffany Fry. Welcome, Tiffany. Hey, thank you. First, it's so fun to see you. I miss you. I miss you too. Do you want to do a quick introduction? Who are you and when did you graduate? Hi, my name is Tiffany Fry. I graduated last year, 2021, from Southeast High School. I can't believe it. It's already been a year. What was your senior year like? Um, it was different. I've expected different, but it was great being back in the school. So right. I guess it was, it was something. Yeah, absolutely. Take us to 2020, right? We don't come back to school after spring break. It's your junior year. Mm -hmm. You're preparing for your senior year. What was that all like for you? I thought it was going to be the best thing ever. And it turned out to be like my worst nightmare. Like I was like, okay, period. We got all this time off. We lit. Like we had to turn up. Right. And we, we hit August and I'm like, hold on, this is my senior year. What y'all doing? Right. And it was just a down here spiral from there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. How was virtual learning for you? Honestly, like, wouldn't even lie, I did not think I was going to make it. Yeah. I hated virtual learning. If you know me, you know I'm a hands-on learner. I am. I have to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was something I was so grateful to know you for your junior year in AP Lang because seeing the switch that happened for you your senior year with virtual learning, I just knew, like, you were not on top of your game. You are a hands-on learner and it just, we could not figure out uh, your learning style, but also you were going through a lot of personal things your senior year as well. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a lot, but yeah. But you made it and you graduated. So what are you doing now? I am at Morgan State University in Baltimore, majoring in business. I am in plenty of organizations down here. And to y'all surprise, I am not cheering or dancing this year. Oh, uh, what? Most definitely my choice. It was my choice. Okay, I did this get- This a good thing. Yeah, I got accepted on the dance team and all that, but I decided to Take a break. I've been dancing all my life. I just want to try something different. Yeah. Um, so what are you? What's different? What are you trying instead? I am in ABC or Absolutely Beautiful and Confident. It's a model organization. I am in what is Eager. It's a mentorship program for Baltimore girls. We just go around to schools doing stuff. You know, like beautify the community, talk to younger girls, mentoring, stuff like, stuff like you would do, like we do it to like everybody, just fun. I love that. Good for you. Is that kind of filling your spirit the way dancing used to? Yeah, I like, it's just, it made me happy. I don't know, <laughs> just like seeing, seeing girls that like maybe was like troubled. I don't want to use that word, but like you, sure. that are challenged. Yeah. And then like when you see them and you see them act different, start changing, you know, it makes me happy. Yeah. I love that. Good for you. You've always kind of been everybody's friend and involved in so much. And I feel like this is a really great way to hone in on all of those skills that you have. Most definitely. When I first got down here, I ran for Miss Freshman of Morgan State University, and I did not win. I got second place out of like 20 girls, though, so <laughs> I most definitely made a name for myself out here when I came out here. So you. Are you glad you moved? I know you were kind of going back and forth about whether to leave Kansas City or not. 
Yes, I think this was most definitely the best choice of my life. Ever since I've been out here, I just been, I don't, I just been flourishing. Like I feel like you can't grow up or change in an environment that damages you. So I'm, I'm happier. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. What's the biggest difference you've noticed between Kansas City and Baltimore? I'm not afraid to get out of my comfort zone. Like, I'm just like, nobody knows me here. If I fail, I fail. So, yeah. I'm just doing it. I'm going and for it. So, yes. It's like the true definition of starting over, right? Blank slate. Nobody knows you. If, if you try something and it doesn't work, who cares? That's so <laughs> wonderful. That's awesome. Have, has the first year of college started up? like what you thought it would be as far as the workload and the school aspect of things? Um, honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot harder. All I needed to, all you really need to do is pay attention. That's it. Um, me, since I took on so many things and I thought I was like going to do it all, I was stressed out for a while, but I'm getting back on top of it. All you got to do is really just time management. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> Yeah, um, I would. I don't want to like put this on you, but maybe you were a bit of a procrastinator in high school. Yeah, I still am. I still am. <laughs> like it does not make no sense. You're so silly. I mean, that's a hard habit to break. I'm sure you'll get there at some point. They say college is used to growing up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna break out that soon. I hope. <laughs> well, you're three months in, so give yourself some time. You're gonna do great. And I already feel my progress, so I'm ready. You <laughs> That's all that matters. That's so wonderful. I'm so proud of you for getting out of Kansas City and trying something new. And I remember how stressed you were for your dance tryouts and they were virtual and you didn't do the routine that you wanted to do. And I just think that it's wonderful that you listen to yourself and are deciding to, you know, try something different, go a different avenue. And you can always go back to dancing if that's something that you want or cheer. Um, but right now, just kind of have fun. I'm just living. <laughs> good crazy i was so stressed i made it and then didn't didn't even do it didn't do it. yeah that's okay it sounds like you made the best choice for you yeah. um is there any sort of advice that you would give let's say a senior graduating this year in terms of school and life and all that go with what you think is best for you. I had so many people in my ear telling me I did not need to move far away from home because I didn't know nobody and I will always need them and I will always lean on them and depend on them. I'm doing great. <laughs> go with what you think. Like if you think you want to go to that HBCU that's 20 hours away from home, go, go for it. Right. Because the worst thing that can happen is you fail and you can Try again at a different school. Do something else. Just go for it. Yes. Did you think that you would be saying that a year ago? No. I thought I was going to end up in like a community college just for a little bit. Oh. I would be homesick. I was coming home right away. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't have much confidence in myself. Yeah. But I had to get away. <laughs> Yes, and that confidence comes with it, it sounds like, right? When you don't have anybody else to lean on, you got to do it yourself. That's just cool. That's it. That's, That's awesome. Me. I'm so glad. I'm so proud of you. You have been an exceptional student and always brought energy and excitement and silliness wherever you go. And it sounds like you're just continuing that. And that's wonderful. I got one more thing. One more. Okay. Can somebody please tell Miss Smith? I'm down here repping her shirt. <laughs> I've been down here. Oh, she's going to love that. We will absolutely put a shout out to HBCU Walking Billboard. Do you want to tell everybody what that is? Um, Basically, Miss Smith, uh, Principal at Southeast, she just, I don't know. 
know, she just, you know, put me on my HBCU swag. She taught me what I needed to know. I probably would have ended up at some PWI, not getting my full college experience yeah. with, like, we have our whole life to be a minority. Let's just kick it. I love that. Do you think that that contribute, being at an HBCU has contributed to you feeling so confident and just kind of trying different things? I think so. I think, like, I wouldn't have it no other way. I don't, like, even if, like, I move back home or I transfer to a different school, it has to be HBCU because I'm around all this Black excellence. Everybody around me is just lit. They knew everything they needed to know before, like, before I had to tell them. Like, I, uh, I can walk around in my bonnet in the hallways if I want to. <laughs> Nobody looks twice. I love that. You deserve to feel comfortable and fully and completely you. And it sounds like you have found a place to do that. Most definitely. Love it. Well, she's going to love the HBC Walking Billboard shout out. And we had a couple of other um, former students who are HBCUs now. And it's just wonderful to see what that can do for you. Thank you for having yes. me. <laughs> well, it has been an absolute pleasure catching up with you and hearing about all the fun things you're doing. We're so proud of you here at Southeast High School and from Kansas City Public Schools. And don't forget about us when you go big and famous and start something amazing. Um, but we can hardly wait to watch alongside. Thank you. I love y'all so much. I miss y'all. <laughs> We miss you. We miss you so much. Well, this has been a wonderful um, time catching up. Thank you again for being here on Life After, and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Um, thank you to all of our viewers for watching, and until next time, bye, sweetie.